Okay, hi, here is your Saxon Lesson 51. Uh, let's talk about the story we were discussing before Thanksgiving break. Our story about the English people continues today. Last week, we talked about some words that we use today and have been with us since the old days of, of the old English. Do you remember any of these words? Remember we talked about the word father, mother, daughter, son, and cow? Yeah. Approximately 100 years after the Anglo-Saxons took over Britannia, one of the English kings, his name was King Eth Ethelbert, he agreed to let some Christian monks from Rome come and preach their religion to the English people. These monks spoke the Latin language and used that language in their prayer services. Eventually, the people of England began using some of the Latin words, especially those words that they learned in church or school. Many of these words are still in our language today. Here are some words, for example. We have the word altar. We have the word candle. We have the word creed, and anthem. Oh, I know anthem. An anthem. All right, let's keep going. We're going to go ahead and quickly review our letter, our letter cards, picture cards, and sight word cards. You ready? Okay, here's our letter cards. Good. When we say the final stable syllables, we don't say F-L-E. We say final stable syllable full. And then we have vowel Y. Very good. Awesome job. Okay. Our picture cards. So remember, picture cards, I say and you repeat. Duck. Duck. Feather. Zoo. Feather. Zoo. Uh, thimble. Thimble. Shark. Cheese. Cheese. Anchor. Anchor. Chef. Chef. Rose. Rose. Butter. -er. Butter. -er. Bird. -er. Bird. -er. Turtle. -er. Turtle. -er. Quilt. Qua. Quilt. Qua. Star. R. Star. R. Dollar. -er. Dollar. -er. Horse. Or. Horse. Doctor. Er. Worm. Er. Well, what? Cake A. Cake A. Concrete E. Concrete E. Dime I. Dime I. Hose O. 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 Q U. Q U. Hook U. Uh. Hook uh. Tooth U. Tooth U. Cheap E. Cheap E. Bubble Bull. Bubble Bull. Staple Pull. Candle dull. Candle dull. Bugle go. Bugle go. Bottle toll. Bottle toll. Ruffle full. Ruffle full. Cry eye. Cry eye. Candy e. Candy e. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, sight words. You ready? Go.
No, I didn't. Are they? Maybe. Okay, um, so before we get started today, let's go over our spelling words. I went ahead and gave you guys your spelling words for this week. It says spelling word list 10 at the top. We're just going to read the words together, okay? So let's read. Hail, hot, tooth, vote, luck, moon, five, choke. Stop right there. Choke. You guys know what it means to choke? Very good. Okay, sorry. Okay, there's no need to bother. Choke. Far. Quit. Uh, sorry, keep going. Cross. Cliff. Help. Fix. Mess. Sir. First. Birth. Skirt. Squirt. Okay, let's all have those er sounds. I guess that's what we're going over this week, right? That's why they have stars next to them. All right, let's read the last two sentences. We will vote next week. And then the next one, the first girl in line gets the cat. Make sure you study for these words. Your spelling test will be on Friday. All right, let's go ahead and take out our spelling high frequency word practice 51. If you flip to the next, these are all stapled together. If you flip to the next paper, that's this page right here. Okay, so next to number one, I want you to write E equal. So that's E with a macron, comma, E, E, final, E, E, comma, Y. So E with a macron, comma E E final E E comma Y. Number two. O. That's O O digraph O O with a macron. With a macron, not ooh like tooth, but O like hook. Okay, number three, qu quilt, that's Q-U. Number two is just O-O with a macron. Number three is combination Q-U. Number four, Z, rose, Z, zebra, Z comma S. Number five, sh shark. S-H. Number six, wh-whale, W-H. Number seven, A consonant, E, comma, A. Number eight, J, J, oops, J, what letter is that? J. So I think I went too fast. Number seven is A, consonant E, comma, A. Number eight is just J. Yes, Christian? No, it's, it's with you. It's on the back. Yep. Yes, right there. So give it, here, come here. Okay, number nine. Number nine is K, comma, C, final C, K, comma, K, comma, K, E. Sorry, I don't know. So I'm going to repeat that again slowly. K, comma, C, final C, K, comma, K, comma, K, E. Should look like this. Okay, next to number 10, if you didn't get one through nine, Christian, that's okay. I'll let you um, go back later and you can see mine, okay? Let's all get on the same page right now. Miss Leah, yes, ma'am. Number nine was K, comma, C, final C, K, comma, K, comma, K, E. Yes, JC. J. Okay, number 10. Write the word horse. Huh. 
Arch. Wow, that punishment was harsh. How do you spell harsh? H A R S H. Okay, number two, plate. Please eat off your plate. P L A T E. Number 12, seek. Let's play hide and seek. How do you spell seek? S E E K. Very good. Next to number 13, let's write some sight words. Next to number 13, does. She does her homework. Does. How do you spell does? D O E S. Next to number 14, write the word full. She is full. How do you spell full? F U L L. Number 15, write the word goes. She goes home. How do you spell goes? G O E S. Number 12 is seek. S E E K. Okay, the sentence part. We're going to write it out loud first and then we can write it on the paper. So, I'll do it, then you'll mirror, okay? Hand me the book that Jan likes best. Er, period. When I do this, this means a capital letter. This means lowercase, okay? Now let's do it together. Are you ready? Hand me the book that Jan likes best. How many of you guys know why Jan was capital? Because it's a proper noun. It's a name. Very good. Let's write it down now on the paper. Remember, this is you're going to write it for number 16. I grade on handwriting, so you're not going to write it really fast and make it look like a chicken wrote it. Okay. You're going to write capital H. Hand me... The book that Jan likes best, period. Hand me the book that Jan likes best. This is how your paper should look, guys. If it does not, then you can pause the video now. Okay. Okay, let's echo these words. Long. Stung. Tong. What sound do you hear in the final position, everybody? Ng. Ng. Very good. What sound is making the ng sound? N and G. Very good. What do you think N and G is, class? It's something. A diagraph. Very good. Why? Because it is two letters that come together to make one sound. Very good. Is this a vowel a diagraph or a consonant diagraph? Consonant diagraph because it's made up of? Consonants. How do we code diagraphs? Underline. We underline them. Very good. We underline them. What suffix have we learned that also contains the ng? What suffix do we know that has ng in it? Ing. Good. Ing. That's correct. Remember when you code a word that has a suffix? Box the suffix first. We don't need to do any other coding inside the box, and since we already know how the suffix is pronounced. So you don't have to underline diagraph ng when it is part of a suffix. You un only underline diagraph ng when it's by itself. So if you have the word running, R-U-N-N-I-N-G, you do not box ing and then underline ng. No. If it's together ing, that's a suffix. If there is not an i, it's just ng, that's a diagraph. You underline it. Do you understand? Okay. So we code these diagraphs by underlining it. Is there any other coding all these words need? 
Yes. What do they need, uh, Mr. Dominic? They all need a breathe. Very good. Let's read it again. Long, stung, tong. All those vowels needed a breathe because they are short. Very good. All right. Whenever we see this card, we're going to start saying diagraph and G. I have a riddle for diagraph NG. This is something that is shaped like a circle. It can also be a circular band worn around a finger as jewelry. What do you think it is? A ring. Ring. Very good. Whenever we see this picture, we're going to say ring ing. Very good. Get out your spelling high frequency word practice sheet. Turn to the back. Put your finger next to number one and echo the sound ing. Very good. Now write that down. How do we spell it? NG. So you're going to write that down next to number one. NG. Paper should look like this. Now we are going to spell some words that include the diagraph NG. Look at the back of your practice sheet. Find number two. Spell the word king on the line. King. How do you spell king, class? K -I -N -G. Good job. K-I-N-G. Next to number three, write the word bring. Bring. How do we spell bring, class? B-R-I-N-G. Good. B-R-I-N-G. Next to number four, write the word strong. 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 How do you spell strong, class? S-T-R-O-N-G. Strong. Very good. Okay, let me see your paper. Okay, let's go ahead and read these high-frequency words together. Are you ready? Like, long, sing, bring, drink, think, think, sing. Now you need to write the word one time next to each word. When you are done with that, I want you to come up with one sentence using two words. So you're writing one sentence using any of these two words. You're going to highlight the words that you have used. You can pause the video now. Okay, so my paper, this is my sentence. You can, yours can be different. I wrote, I like to sing long songs and drink water. I use the word like, sing, and drink. I use three words. I only asked you to use two, but if you can use more, that would be kind of impressive. All right, now before we wrap this up and I let you go do the rest on your own, let's go ahead and work together on coding this sentence. We have the sentence, my flimsy swing needs a little work. Who can help me code the word my? Leah, how do we code my? Put a, a dot and a macron. Very good. And a accent. My. Who can help me code the word flimsy? Amaria. Good. V, C, C, V. Perfect. Then what? Accent. How about the S? Does it make the S or the Z? So you need to cross it out and then put a dot on the I. Excellent. My flimsy. Very good. Who can help me with the word swing? Brenaya, swing. Good. Not box. You underline it to diagraph. Breathe. Very good. How about needs? Needs. Just a second. Needs. Uh, go ahead, hon. Good job. And how about S? What is that? Suffix S. Very good. And then a. Uh, you put a squaw on top of it because it makes the a uh sound. Little Destin. Oh, 
a bracket. Okay. Very good. And where's the accent go? Very good. Little. And then work. Who can help me with the last one? Work. Uh, let's see. Dominic. Work. O R. Let's read it together, class. My flimsy swing needs a little work. Very good. Okay, now uh, you're on your own. I want you to go ahead and finish the worksheet and homework side and turn that into me, okay? Have fun learning. I'll see you later.